Welcome to our spring PTSB Ideal Home Show video series, Meet the Experts, our four episodes of home inspiration and expert guidance series with special guests. Before we start the discussion, a quick reminder that the spring show is on from Friday 26th to Sunday the 28th of April at the RDS Simmons Court. It promises to be a fantastic show packed with choice, expert advice and inspiration for your home. There's an early bird offer of two free adult tickets for a day of your choice. This is only available for a limited time, so make sure you register for your tickets as soon as you can at idealhome.ie. Today, we'll be discussing all things home energy upgrades. I'm delighted to welcome our expert, architect Hugh Wallace, who will appear at the Electric Ireland Superhome stand. So welcome to our Meet the Experts series today and everyone will be very excited to hear that you'll be back at the show in April. So to start off, I'd love to ask you a little bit about your work with Electric Ireland Superhomes. How did you start your work with them and why do you choose to be an ambassador with that amazing brand? Well, I think it's about their professionalism, knowledge and ability to actually respond to so many different situations. Because the amazing thing about a retrofit is no size fits all. So let's talk a little bit about that because I'm sure a lot of people who will be coming to the show to hear your expertise and hear the Electric Ireland's Superhomes expertise will be starting on this retrofit journey. Where do they start and what kind of information should they come with if they're coming to the show to speak with you guys? The most important thing for you to have is your BER cert because that will give your existing energy rating of your home. The whole point of getting a retrofit is that to avail of the grants, you need to improve the level of insulation and energy efficiency of your home. And if you want to use a heat pump, you need to get to a minimum of a B2. And the great thing about going to Electric Island Superhomes is they will explain to you your journey and also assisting you in applying for your grants, but also understanding what work is involved, what the implications are for your home, how the retrofit will be invasive or not invasive if you're to use external insulation. So quite a complicated solution. So the great thing about Electric Ireland Superhomes is they have the knowledge and expertise to deliver it properly for you. And as I said, every situation is different. There's no size fits all. So like you said, it can be very complex and people can be intimidated. So what it sounds like is figure out your BER and then really plug into the experts. Do Electric Ireland Superhomes fall under this one-stop shop term that we hear a lot about? So the great thing about using Electric Ireland Superhomes is they do all the donkey work in terms of filling in the forms, making sure you can maximise the amount of grants you're going to get and also how you draw those down. That leads me on to my next question, which is timing. We're hearing so much about retrofitting, future proofing. When is the best time for people to start looking into this? Because for a long time now, you've been speaking about the importance of future proofing your home, insulation, everything like that. And people are still maybe a little bit reticent to get going. So when, when would you say is the best time for people to start talking to experts and, and beginning that journey? You have two types of situation. One is where you're buying a home and you may need to do alterations or changes to it. And that's the perfect time to do the retrofit. Because if you like, it will dovetail perfectly with the work you're doing, such as replacement of windows, new hall doors, attic insulation, etc. And so that, to me, is a perfect time to do it. It's also a perfect time if you're considering renovations. Again, just it's a real opportunity to maybe change that bathroom, change your kitchen around. If you aren't going to do 
renovations or renovation work, you can do other alternatives, which would be the external insulation of your home, replacing windows, insulating the attic. So there, at no time is there not the right time to go off and get it done, particularly now because of the level of grants. Yes, I heard you speak at the show last year and you said, you know, this is a golden time for grants and that if people have the capacity, they really should start looking into it because, you know, in, in a few years' time, we don't know what will be available. I'd love to talk about something that, again, comes up a lot, which is heat pumps. They're kind of the, the cool thing in the retrofitting world. Can you tell us a little bit about what a heat pump is and why it might be suitable for some people? A heat pump is another source of energy for your home. It provides hot water or warm water at a low temperature, which means that you have to have a particular type of radiators, underfloor heating. And the great thing about the heat pump is it works extremely efficiently. Now, it only works if your home in energy efficiency is a B2 or above. You cannot put in a heat pump if you do not have a home at a particular level. Because if you do, it's just a waste of time. It'll be running all the time. So you, while people are running around selling heat pumps, you have to make sure that your home is suitable to have a heat pump. And again, that's the great thing about going to Electric Ireland Super Homes, because they will tell you what you have to do to bring your home up to a minimum standard to use an air to water system. So heat pumps you've unpacked, but again, it sounds like to me, you really just need to speak to the experts. And I know that's what you'll be doing at the show. You'll be there with Electric Ireland Super Homes. You'll be speaking to me, hopefully one of the days, if you have time. I know you tend to get swamped at the show, but hopefully you'll, you'll have a few minutes. What do you enjoy about the show and what makes you excited to to go and, and be with Electric Girl Superhomes at the spring at the spring show. What fascinates me is 70 years ago we all played lip service to sustainability and really because of the Covid crisis, the spike in oil prices, the war in Ukraine which is devastating, that has all drawn and made us absolutely focus on how we're going to heat our homes. And that is terrific. So retrofitting a home is no longer sort of playtime. It's a fact. It's something we have to do because this is about a nation getting older. And therefore, it's very important that people have the ability to heat their homes going forward and in the future. And in my opinion, if in about five years time, if you haven't got your home up to a minimum of a C1, you will be, in my opinion, your house will be devalued. So now is the time to do it. Now is the time to get your home to a B2 plus. And it can be done. You have mentioned there are so many of the positives about upgrading and retrofitting, but I'd love to ask again, you know, for somebody who is still a little bit unsure, dragging their heels, maybe, you know, the environmental side of things isn't the thing that lights the fire underneath them. What would you say to that person to really get them inspired to have that conversation? Saving money. That's, I don't, that's a bit coarse, but that's what it's about. If you get your home up to the correct level, of insulation value. The amount of energy that's used, particularly if you use a recycling system of air within the home, that's where you're going to get the magical benefits of reducing your energy use and cost. I'd also love to ask you, have you seen a change in attitudes with homeowners and house owners, you know, this for a lot of people, retrofitting is still kind of a new concept. But have you seen over time through your work and through the conversations that people are a little bit more excited to look into this side of things and get going on it? Absolutely. I don't know. I, th I think in Ireland, we don't have a choice. It doesn't matter what age you are, you know, and the great thing is the grants are there. Their grants are there for people on low income, much higher grants. So, you know, we need to go out there and really transform this country. And, and 
This is about sustainability. It's about our health. It's it's truly I you know I I must say um, seven years ago I would have gone poo hoo to the whole thing. I've been, been totally honest. I would have thought what a load of. But today, I'm absolutely convinced that this is the right direction that we have to go, and more importantly, it does sound as if it's a daunting task to do this. But if you're going with an expert who has great knowledge in how you really do this work efficiently, then that's the plus. And that's why Electric Island, that's why Electric Ireland super homes can really deliver. So Hugh, people, and including yourself, talk a lot about the benefits to the environment and to cost. What other benefits are there to retrofitting your home? Well, at the moment, during this, when, when we're in the cold season, and the cold snap comes, we all move into three rooms, <laughs> yes. and the hall is freezing, or the good room is freezing. We don't use the whole house. And the great thing about a retrofit is your home is transformed, because you can use every bit of it. And all of a sudden, people who want to do extensions don't need to do an extension because, in fact, they found the space in their existing home. That's fascinating because it's so true. And I think as uh, many of us living in cold homes, you just accept that that's part of the season. You know, you will just live in the living room the whole time. So to think that you could actually extend your home and enjoy that space instead of putting on an extension or investing it, putting it back into the home that you actually have is, is so exciting. For people who have maybe looked at some of the grants or are coming to it new, is there anything else that's coming down the tracks that might be interesting to people who are planning this in the near future? Well, what's coming down the tracks is the government are hopefully going to introduce a, a loan scheme which will have a reduced interest rate, even below the green interest rates that are out there at the moment. And that will make a significant difference. And within that loan, you will also be able to not only get a loan in relation to the retrofit, but also a small additional loan should you want to do a little bit of refreshing or work on your bathroom or your kitchen. So it's very positive what's coming down the line. So the timing is really perfect to have it that conversation. Indeed. I couldn't have you here and not ask you about some interiors things because we know you're an architect and you talk about this all the time. Are there any trends that you're particularly excited about that are coming into the interiors world this year? What's really coming down the track this year in 24 is Urban Ant. Fabulous style, a bit of sophistication. It's that sort of 40-year-old, 50-year-old woman living in that apartment that she's beautiful rugs, a little bit of sophistication. Somebody you envy, somebody who dresses fabulously and is out entertaining and out on the nightlife. And that's going to have a big impact on what we're thinking about this year for our homes. Oh, well, it feels like that it might suit this setting that we have beautifully set up here. And I'm sure there'll, there'll be more of that inspiration at the show too. Hugh, thank you so much for joining us. Looking forward to seeing you in April. Looking forward to it. That's all we have time for today. We can't wait to see you at the show this year. You can meet the Electric Ireland Superhomes team at Stand or 36 to start your home energy upgrade journey. Today's beautiful set was styled by Studio B Homewares and Diamond Furniture who offer a beautiful range of furniture and sustainable homewares. Their services include interior design and home staging. Diamond Furniture will have an extensive range at the show on stand Q10. And I can't wait to see you all at the DFS Interiors Theatre. I'll be there every day of the show, interviewing a fantastic lineup of industry leaders and experts, including QS, Patricia Power and Hugh Wallace. Topics will include interior design trends, decor, home makeovers, home extensions, upcycling, financing, and so much more. And finally, don't forget there is an early bird offer of two free adult tickets for a day of your choice. This is only available for a very limited time, so make sure you register for your tickets as soon as you can at idealhome.ie.